Well, 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 Henry Cavill is officially back. Take it there, suckers that all was saying that he wouldn't be back. It's not real shocking after this weekend's news of Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam grossing $140 million in the first weekend. Everyone knows this by now, and if you haven't heard it, plug your ears. Henry Cavill did appear in Black Adam at the end of the movie. And people also need to know that Cavill is managed by Johnson's manager and former spouse, Danny Garcia. I think it all connects and shows you why Dwayne Johnson wanted Henry Cavill in as Superman so bad. I want you to also hear it straight from Henry Cavill. Here's his just recent Instagram post. Hey everyone, I wanted to wait until the weekend was over before posting this uh, because I wanted to give you all a chance to watch Black Adam. But now that plenty of you have, I wanted to make it official that I am back as Superman. And the image you see on this post and what you saw in Black Adam are just a very small taste of things to come. So uh, there's a lot to be thankful for and I'll get to that in time, but I want to thank you guys most of all. Thank you for your support and thank you for your patience. I promise it will be rewarded. All this news is breaking from Deadline. Now one thing in the article that I'm sort of a little worried about is it says this. The T sequel is that Dwayne Johnson's anti-hero and the Man of Steel are poised to go at it in part two of Black Adam. In my opinion, I'm okay with Henry Cavill being Superman in Black Adam 2, but, and this is a huge, huge but, Man of Steel 2 has to happen before Black Adam 2. I want to know who's with me, post it in the comments, it has to be before Black Adam 2 in my opinion. And I also don't think that the Superman's main villain needs to have anything to do with Black Adam. In fact, give me somebody different. Please, please, please give me Brainiac. I want to know from what you all think. I don't want Lex Luthor. I don't want Zod. Give me someone different that everyone is really wanting. And in my opinion, that's Brainiac. I really do feel this is a huge win for Superman fans and DCU fans in general. This shows Black Adam really did turn things around for the DCU and they're willing to now invest even more money into it. Henry Cavill is back and mark my words, he is not signing for just something small. He's signing for something bigger. He's going to have his own movies. He's going to probably appear in some Justice Leagues. Maybe again Black Adam 2 or could Black Adam be the major villain in Justice League 2? We'll see. I also wonder if he's going to fit into Shazam in any way, but all this is so exciting news for DC fans, which I am, have nothing against the MCU either, but the DCU is more me if I'm being honest. I am so pumped for this. I want to hear from you guys. Are you pumped? Do you want to see Henry Cavill in Black Adam 2 first, or do you want to see him in Man of Steel 2 first? I want to know from you guys. This is a good day. Have a good one. If you have enjoyed what you have watched, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out our other videos. Thank you.